Hey guys, so NYX has come out with buttermilk blushes and they are priced at $10 which is perfect because I had decided a few months back that I needed to set a limit to how much I would be willing to spend on makeup and $10 is my threshold. If it's $10 or under, fine. If it's more than that, I'm not getting it because, you know, I feel like the price of everything, inflation has gone up like crazy and so everybody has less money than they used to because your money doesn't go as far as it once did. And little did I know when I made that decision that here we go again, my little trip to the emergency room uh, last week is going to probably set me back thousands of dollars because um, even if you have health insurance, you still end up with those residual bills of what the insurance didn't pay because the insurance never pays 100% unless you have two forms of insurance, which we do not. But anyways, uh, I digress. So that's not what this video is about today. This video is about the NYX Buttermelt Blush. So I bought the shade Butter together. Yes, the shade, singular, because I have so many blushes right now that it just wouldn't make sense to go out and buy all the shades, especially if I had never tried it before. So I don't even know if I'm going to love this, but I have a feeling that I'm going to. This is what it looks like. This is a neutral pink. I bought this shade in particular because I thought it would be the most versatile and go with the most, you know, different kinds of looks. Now, not too long ago, I bought the Buttermelt Bronzer and I absolutely love this. I use it most of the time, not all the time. If I'm doing a warm look, then I reach for my other bronzers, but most of the time, if I'm doing a neutral or a cool tone look, I use that because I do absolutely love it. And buttermelt is a great thing to have in the title of these products because they do just melt right into your skin and blend beautifully. So let's talk about the smell. It smells like, it's a very unique scent. I'm not really sure. I've I looked and I could not find any information about what it was supposed to smell like, but to me it smells like I smell like a fruity smell, but I also smell coconut. Um, but it's sweet. It's very pleasant, very pleasant, not not overpowering either. All right, so I have um, all my makeup on with the exception of blush and highlighter. So I'm going to use my Essence Blush Brush and just give this a little bit of a dip. I don't want to start off with too much because um, if it's really pigmented, then I won't be able to blend it out. So, yeah, let's... I barely touched it. Now that's that's pretty, but let's just do a little bit more because I'm not the kind of person that likes a lot of blush. Like that's fine for my taste, but I mo know most of you probably like a little bit more than that. So let's build it up just a little bit. Oh my God, you guys, that blends like a dream. Of course, how well your blush Blends also has to do with the brush that you're using. I don't know if they still sell this Essence brush or not, but I really love it. But to me, that is perfect. And wow, what a great color. Um, that is going to go with most makeup looks, I feel like. All right, let's do the other side. And I want this to be even, so I don't know, that, that looks pretty even to me. Mm, looks like I used a little bit more on that side. All right, let's get up here more. Try and make this even. Yeah, that's pretty even. So, did not disappoint. And for highlighter... I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Blossom Glow. 
and I also used this as a highlighter on my eyes today. And if you want to know anything that I'm wearing, everything will be in the description box. And you will see something that costs more than $10 in that list. But, um, you know, if I have things in my collection, it would be a waste not to use them just because they cost more than $10. But going forward, I don't want to spend more than $10 on any one item. Now, let's talk about availability of these. These are like the hot thing right now that are very hard to get. And when NYX launched these on their website initially, I wasn't looking for them, so I missed out on that the, when they first launched them on their website. So I missed the boat on that one. I signed up to be notified when they would restock. And I had so much going on at that time that I didn't uh, place the order when they restocked. And I thought, no, I'm just going to wait just a bit and get them in store. Well, guess who has them in store? Ulta. So if you watch my videos, you know I was trying to boycott Ulta, but sometimes you have no choice but to shop there whether you want to or not, because sometimes they're the only store that has certain items. And so I, before I went to Ulta and bought this, um, I was going to order it from Amazon. I put it in my cart, I placed my order, and then I got an email saying, you know, when it would ship, and it said June something to July something. And I was like, what? I don't want to wait that long. So I canceled that order, and that's when I said, well, how am I going to get this faster? Uh, because I went to the NYX website again, and it said that they were out of stock again and um, that now, you know, the next uh, availability was going to be, I think, the last week of May. But I was like, no, I want it now. Um, so I went to my local Ulta and they didn't have it out on the floor yet because they had just gotten their shipment. So I asked somebody if they could help me. And um, they said, oh, yeah, I, I showed him on my phone what I was looking for. And I, he said, yeah, we, uh, we do have that, but we haven't put it out yet because we just, just got it. So I thought, oh, good, now I can get the color I want because once it's out on the floor, that's it. You know, the, the people will come in and swoop up everything. So I hit it just right. Um, if you are interested in these and you want it right now and you don't want to wait for all the websites to restock, then what I would suggest doing is going on the Ulta website and looking to see which store in your area has them in stock because I didn't see in stock on all the stores. I just saw that with some of them. And if you do go there, you're going to probably have to ask somebody to get it for you. And um, so, yeah, the shade I got was Butter Together. This is a neutral pink. And I love it. I had a feeling I would. Um, so in terms of availability, it's might be a bit of, you know, a struggle to get it because, yeah, everybody wants these right now. So that is it today, you guys. Short and sweet and to the point. And um, should I put my my spray on? Yeah, I haven't done my set. I always do this at the end. So let's um, let's do this and see if that makes any difference with how the blush looks at the end. Well, it didn't really change the way the blush looks, but it certainly made my highlighter pop a bit more. So that's it, you guys. Thanks for watching and subscribing. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel when you do. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.